Hello and welcome, Pisces. I hope that you all are radiating positive energy at this time. Let's hop into it, Pisces. Let's get it beyond the self oracle. Let's see what the divine wants you to know about yourself at this time. Any guidance, inspiration, any encouragement, anything to get you through the day. All right. So let's see what does the divine want Pisces to know. Guilt is a normal feeling. Just breathe in and let go. Okay. We all have done things that we may regret. We all have done things we can't take back. You know, we learn from them though. We don't sit around and feel guilty about it. We don't carry it with us. We don't let it bring us down. What's done is in the past, even if it just happened a minute ago. Right? So just breathe, Pisces. Breathe in and release it to the universe. Anything that you cannot control, release it to the universe. Okay? It's okay to feel a little guilt from time to time. But don't hold it in you. Don't carry it with you. Right? Breathe in through your nose and release it from your mind. All right, so that's the divine guidance here, Pisces. It wants you to let go of all your guilt, all your fears, right? Let it go. Okay, so let's get a divine door for you. Let's see which divine door is open to my beautiful Pisces at this time. Which divine door is open to Pisces? Very green, okay? Very camouflage, very hidden, you know? Hmm. Nomad. Nomad, Pisces. The nomad wonder lies deep inside. So take the leap now. Don't crawl back and hide. Okay, because I knew it just felt so concealed. It felt hidden. Pisces, the universe wants you to break free. It wants you to break free, right? It wants you to come up out of your cocoon, come up out of your cave, come up out of that house, come up out of that room, come up out of that office, come up out of that building. You know what I'm saying? Come up out of there, man. That's it. Stop feeling guilty for whatever was done. Stop hiding from yourself, from your truth, from your past. Get out there. Show yourself. Deal with it, face it, conquer it, and move on. You know? Come on out, Pisces. Come on out. That's the, the, the universe is giving you the okay to breathe again. The universe is giving you the okay to show your face again. Right? It's okay. Nothing can't stop you. Only you can stop you, Pisces. So don't hide yourself from the world because of something you may have done or did not do. Or because of how you feel about a situation. Don't let that be the reason. Come on out. Alright. Don't feel guilty about none. Alright. So that's the divine guidance Pisces. I'm going to take a sip of this coffee real quick. And we're going to hop right into it. We're just going to collect some energy. And see what's going on. Mm. That tastes great. Okay. Because somebody. Not being true to themselves. Right? Somebody feeling guilty about something and it's preventing them from living their best motherfucking life. You know? And the universe ain't happy with that. It's like you all camouflage. It's like you there. You on the scene, but can't nobody see you. Right? Because you hidden in plain sight as well. Right? You real quiet. You real, real quiet. Alright? So what's the energies going on around Pisces? Okay? We got the Wheel of Fortune. We have the Queen of Cups, the Ace of Wands. What is the energy is going on around Pisces? Pisces, I'm seeing that you need to surrender to the divine, right? You need to take your chances doing something different, right? The way you've been doing things hasn't been working. You got the okay to do something different here. That's the opportunity that's available to you, Pisces. Six of Swords, it's time for you to move on from your past or to move on from a situation. Make peace with it. Keep it moving. Don't let nothing stop you, right? 
justice. Okay? Be fair to yourself. Be honest with yourself. Bring your situations into balance. Whatever it is, bring it into balance, baby. Okay? Don't let it keep you from the world. Okay, we got temperance. Go on, get on out there and test the water. Stop resisting this. Okay, because you want to be out there. You want to be doing something different. You want to be seen. You want to be heard, but you resisting it as if it's a bad thing, right? And it's all about balance, Pisces. Patience, you know. You ain't got to rush and do nothing, but you can start to do something. You know, we can't just sit around and waste away. We have to get out there and test the waters. We got to see what's out there for us. You know what I'm saying? Can't be hiding in no dark, you know? Can't be isolated all the time. You were meant to have contact with other people, you know? we No one was put here to be alone. So don't hide yourself. It doesn't matter what you've done. The universe forgives you here. That justice card. Maybe some of you need to forgive yourself. That's the way to lift this karmic cycle off of you. Get that fear up off you. Get that guilt up off you. Forgive yourself, baby. The world still turns here. We got the seven of swords. Okay, I feel like there's a lot of fear here. Fear of rejection. Fear of not being accepted. Fear of what other people may say, right? Um, it's like you, you, you stealing from yourself. You stealing your life, right? And this energy, that seven of swords. Some of you are letting life pass you by because you afraid of being rejected. You afraid of taking an opportunity. You afraid of surrender. You afraid of moving on, right? You afraid to test the waters, but you really want to. Get on out there. Fight for your right. Get out your feelings. Because look at this King of Swords. He's the warrior of the deck. He fights. He's respected, right? He knows what he needs to do. He got the facts. He knows exactly what's going on. Some of you need to get out of your feelings. Get out of your head, right? Just start taking action, okay? Yes, Pisces, what's crossing this energy? The Ace of Swords, right? It's time for you to start living in your truth. It's start start speaking your truth, okay? So the universe is saying, come come up out of whatever box you're in, okay? Um, you're not meant to be in the box. You're not meant to be concealed. You're not meant to be hidden. Um, I created you special. You have a mission here in this world that's why you're here you know outside of everything else you do have a divine purpose and i'm giving you the okay to let you know whatever it is whatever it was release it back to the universe send it back to the sender right don't hide yourself don't be living in fear living your purpose that wheel of fortune lets me know that great things are ready to happen for you, Pisces, when you just take a chance, when you trust, when you learn to surrender here with this Queen of Cups. Because when I look at this Queen of Cups, she's surrendering, right? She's been in prayer. She's been in deep meditation. She submerged herself in that healing water, right? And you have the opportunity to move forward, right? You have the opportunity to bring peace to these situations. You have what it takes to end any karmic cycle, but you must learn to forgive. You can't resist getting out there, seeing what it's like, testing it out. It may not be what you thought it was. You may have been wasting time for no reason, right? Nobody don't even care about what you did or didn't do no more. Stop playing yourself out of an opportunity to live, man. Don't let your emotions control you. Fight for your right to stand strong and tall within yourself, Okay, be honest, be truthful. Okay, if it's some confession you need to make, it is what it is. Who's gonna do something with you, whatever you did or didn't do? It is what it is. You're not the only one who made a mistake, you're not the only person who did some things that they may not be proud of, you're not the only person that ever felt guilty or horrible about something, right? But you can't let that consume you. So the universe is stepping out with that wheel of fortune. First card flip, right? That wheel of fortune, Pisces. Your life can change for the better if you just trust me, right? 
The universe is calling you to have trust, Pisces. Whatever you you've been doing, you've been like you learned a lot, right? Your your perspective is much much higher, right? You see things more clearer now. Here, you're really sharp. Okay, so let your creativity and ideas let the let the world know what you created. Because as long as you've been isolated, you've been learning something, you've been doing something. Right, even if it's you needing to speak on it, right? You could be a motivational speaker, right? You could be some form of teacher, okay, some form of counselor, some somebody who can guide and lead. You don't need all that information to let it go to waste. Whatever you have in your brain, whatever you know, you're meant to share that with the world, Pisces. Okay, so we know you ain't been in that house or in that building or in that room. You know, we know you ain't been in there doing nothing. We know you've been in there sharpening your skills, okay? And now it's time for you to let somebody know what you learned. Teach somebody what you learned, right? Surrender the need to control the situations here. Queen of Cups comes with the Knight of Wands. Right? It's time to put your energy into your purpose. Right? It's time to put your energy into your purpose, Pisces. Okay? With that Knight of Wands. We got this Ace of Wands here, Pisces. And it come with the world. If you bring an end into your old way of thinking, right? You can create a new world for yourself, a new cycle. If you learn to forgive yourself and forgive others, you can release those karmic cycles or those negative, those negative energetic cords, right? You can feel whole and complete again. You can be healed. Give yourself that opportunity. Don't steal your own life away by wasting away, by not sharing what you know. By not healing what you can. By just being alone and in hermit mode. Right? Whatever you've been doing, whatever knowledge you've gained, this meant to be shared. Pisces, share your story. Maybe your story can help someone else not make the same mistakes you did. Maybe your story can save someone. Someone's life is what I'm hearing. Okay? Because maybe somebody's story saved your life before. But however the wind howls, you got this six of swords and it's the universe telling you it's time to move on. You're not meant to be placed in the box. You're not meant to sit still. You have a divine purpose, right? You got to live in your purpose and not your fears. So Pisces, it's time to move on. You got the potential to do whatever it is you want to do in this life, right? You've been provided for. You've been provided for, Pisces. It's time to move on and plant a seed somewhere. It's time to do something different, okay? Give yourself the opportunity to share what you know. To create something strong in yourself or in other people. Forgiveness, Pisces. <clears throat> Forgiveness. You know what you need to do, High Priestess. This justice come with the High Priestess. You know what you need to do in order to end these karmic cycles. Your intuition is screaming to you. It's been telling you to come out, right? Go get involved, right? Do this, do that, right? And you you let everything pass you by, right? Your intuition is pulling on you strong. It's calling you to do something that you're not doing, Pisces. Stop resisting the call from your intuition. Get on out there with this temperance and test your waters, right? The emperor, take control over your life, right? Look how, do you know how abundant the emperor is? How abundant he can be if he just let go of guilt, anger, and resentment or torments from the past? He can excel and be one of the greatest, right? Pisces, the universe is telling me you could be one of the greatest when you take control over your life, when you stop caring about what people say or think, or, you know, don't feel guilty or shame. Don't feel that. Let that go. It's done. It's over. You can't take it back. You can't spend the rest of your life in the box, okay? 
Don't play yourself out of the opportunity to live. Time ain't waiting on nobody. We live in a realm where time is important. Right? We we do birthday rituals, right? We aging out here, right? So, you know, time ain't waiting on nobody here in this, this 3D realm that we in, right? So don't play yourself out of the opportunity to live your best motherfucking life while you here. Stop wasting time feeling guilty, feeling scared. Get out there, take control, listen to your calling, right? You could be a well-respected person. Just fight for what you want. Fight for yourself. Don't don't go out like that, Pisces. Don't start using your body. Don't let it go to waste on you, you know? Come on, Pisces. Seven of Swords. Don't play yourself out of the opportunity to live your best life. Go ahead and heal. Go ahead and heal whatever you need to heal. Get in alignment with your soul, your spirit, right? The universe, the divine. Because you're meant to be a star, People are meant to see you. You are meant to shine. Stop hiding yourself. Right? Heal yourself. Okay? Fight for it here with the King of Swords. Get up out of them feelings. Okay? Let it happen. Whatever it is, let it happen. Okay? Because you're hurting yourself. You're somewhere screaming in the dark. You know you're hurting yourself by being alone. By not sharing your gifts, by letting your talents and skills go to waste, your knowledge, okay? Fight for what you want. Fight to heal this broken, this shredded heart. This heart is tore apart, okay? Hmm. What's crossing this energy, Pisces, is the magician, okay? You manifesting your life, right? Every thought, every action is part of manifestation, so be more positive, right? Get more sun. Get out there. Change your reality, right? Change your scenario. If you sit in the house all day or you ain't going nowhere or you ain't doing nothing or you ain't mingling with people, the universe is saying you manifesting your reality, right? Get out there. Do something different. You got the okay to come on out now. You're a star. You're meant to shine. Create you a new reality. Forgive. Forgive. Listen to that calling because your intuition is pulling on you, Pisces. Mm, I feel like we need to get some messages of guidance on this one. Right? So let's get some messages of guidance, Pisces. Let's see if we can further understand what else the universe may be wanting from you here. Right? Because I just feel like there's more. So let's get about four more cards and let's see what is the guidance here for you. Okay? If you never... You know, breathe out and let that guilt go. You're going to be in a lack space for a long time. It's going to get colder. It's not going to get better. It's going to get worse, right? If you don't learn to release those things that are bothering you, those things you feel guilty about, those things you are ashamed of, you will continue to lack because it will be a punishment at that point. Right, because the universe is calling to you, baby. It wants you to do better, be better, let it go. It wants you to live. While you're here, you have a purpose, right? You have a purpose, Pisces. You have a calling. And if you don't answer it, you're just going to keep lacking. Okay? Look at this. The high priestess comes out again, Pisces. Your intuition is strongly calling to you. Listen to it. Listen to what your body is telling you. Listen to what your instincts are telling you. Look how much more powerful and beautiful. Look how calm her space is. Look how um, elegant and relaxing it is, right? So yes, Pisces, your intuition is calling you to follow your heart. Don't worry about what the outside world says, what it thinks. The universe is already forgiving you. The only thing you have to do now is forgive yourself. And move on. Listen to your intuition, baby. Okay, we got the nine of wands. Set some boundaries if you need to, but don't never give up on yourself. Don't let these people beat you. Don't let this world beat you. You are not meant to be hidden. Keep on going. Keep on fighting. You got what it takes with that king of swords. Right? Or you could keep on hurting and keep on reliving those moments over and over. Keep on bringing yourself heartache and pain. Keep on lacking. Like we got choices out here, Pisces. Look, Ten of Wands. 
Okay, we all under a lot of pressure. We all have burdens, right? How we carry them though, what we do through the storms, create our outcomes, okay? That's your four of wands off in the distance, okay? You can let your burdens consume you and break you down or you can put your big girl panties on or put your big boy drawers on and handle your business because the opportunity awaits you. The choice is yours. You could die under pressure or you could release that shit and move forward and go build you something different. All right, Pisces. So that's the message of guidance. What's crossing that is the, the uh, seven of swords again, right? Right? Don't play yourself out of the opportunity to have a great motherfucking life. To don't have to answer to nobody. Don't have to feel guilty about nothing. Don't have to live in fear. Walk in faith and not by sight. Okay? So Pisces, this is the energy. I hope it resonates. Let's get a word from the chakra wisdom to promote positivity. To see what chakra needs to be worked on. Or to simply get an inspirational quote that we could say to ourselves each and every day. Pisces, you have the second chakra and it's the sacral chakra. And this one is relevant to abundance. I am worthy and I deserve an abundance of anything that I require. The universe talking. I watch my thoughts to ensure that I am honoring and respecting myself. I honor myself by knowing that I am worthy to receive. I am open to receive now. I remind myself that it is a sign of strength to ask for help. Maybe some of you guys need guidance from a counselor, someone to talk to, someone to share your thoughts and feelings with. Even if you go into meditation or prayer and get those answers or have that conversation with your higher self or your God or the divine, whatever it is that you know to be true of your creator, of your world, right? So abundance, Pisces, it's available to you. Abundance is our positive energy. If you're new to my channel and you like this video, go ahead, hit that like or subscribe button. For those of you who are returning, thank you for your continued support. And remember that your comments are always welcome. This is all I have, Pisces. As always, be safe, be blessed, and I'll talk to you guys next time. Bye.